Men and women fought a bloody battle for our better future. The most idealistic among us, the bravest among us, the best among us from every rung of society put everything on the line for our Ireland. They are the forefathers of our revolution. We are the sons and daughters of their sacrifice. And our fucking government have failed them. Our government, our dangerously psychotic government, our cancerously kleptomaniac government, our soon to be toppled government, This is our Ireland! And it's a different war now. They don't call this war a rising or a revolution. They call it austerity. People are profit margins now. Politics is criminal negligence and death is collateral damage. In the centenary of 1916, more people took their own life than died in the entire Easter Rising. In the eight years of austerity, more people died by suicide than were killed in the entire 30 years of the Northern Irish conflict. This is our Ireland. And austerity is not just a lie. Austerity is fucking murder. This is our Ireland, where corporations can operate tax-free with impunity where natural resources can be purchased for a song, where our leaders can lie on the world stage about national recoveries while state protected banks can rip people from their home and vulture, vulture capitalists can peck at the carcasses, where families can be burned to death and the survivors can be dumped in a car park where the census office can report a quarter of a million empty properties and the homeless can fuck off and die. This is our Ireland. This is our Ireland where ideals fought for by people braver than us are being destroyed one human right at a time while we hid where citizens and non-citizens in second-hand sleeping bags lie on the cold concrete while elected scum and non-elected scum in three-piece suits protect the criminally corrupt. And still, we hid. Where our parents or grandparents lie terrified on a hospital trolley or slumped alone on an emergency room chair. Where our children or grandchildren make plans to leave the country and never look back or put ropes around their necks because of the legacy our government is handing them. And still we hid. For sheriffs come knocking for the keys to our doors and the rights to our homes, all in the name of austerity. And still we hid. Then malignant magpies in three-piece suits plotted to steal our water and we fucking came out of hiding. This is our Ireland, not the government, not the banks, not the corporations. Our Ireland. Not the dehumanizing scum who know the price of everything and the value of nothing. Ireland belongs to the dreamers, the fighters, the explorers, the deeply rooted, the traveler and the recently arrived, the pink skinned, brown skinned and every in between skinned. The old, the young, the straight, the LGBTs and the sitting on the fences. Ireland belongs to the musicians, the poets, the artists, the audience, the vulnerable, the special needs, the carers, the mothers, fathers, brothers and sisters and find the courage to wake up every single fucking day and fight for our better future. <laughs> Ireland, our Ireland, belongs to the people who make you proud to know them. The storytellers who make you crap up laughing and break down weeping. Ireland belongs to those known worldwide for their humanity. The rebels, the fighters, the warriors. Ireland belongs to the fucking protesters! Our freedom was fought for a hundred years ago. And today, we ask ourselves, what are we prepared to do 
to fight for that freedom. Today we ask ourselves, if not us who, if not now, when? And finally, we ask ourselves, when exactly did we allow a tiny coterie of controlling class scum make us forget just how fucking magnificent we are? This is our Ireland! Our Ireland! This is our